book of aboard chat. This is going to be an interesting one. Um, let me know. I'm not seeing it now. If you can hear the game. <laughs> this up just a bit see if that's better <clears throat> let me know how the game audio is though um, it sounds fine in my ear uh, but this is actually the first time I've streamed a game from the PC um, which makes me really wish I had a third monitor <laughs> um, two monitors is enough when you're streaming from a console but oof uh, having one of your monitors just eaten up by the game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that makes monitoring the stream a little bit more difficult. It's not too bad, but uh, it's mostly a quality of life issue, if that makes sense. But anyway, yeah, we're checking out <clears throat> uh, Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles today. Uh, I found this game. When did I found this game? find this game? I think, actually, yeah, it was from a... Uh, uh, a Bellalar News uh, video, of all things. Uh, he did a video, this is before he, um, he talked to Kotaku, uh, highlighting, like, a ton of interesting games that were coming out this month, or last month, or something. I can't remember exactly when. Um, and this was one of them. Uh, and I was like, huh, that looks interesting. Um, and so I looked into it, and I was like, wow, this is um, eerily on brand for me. <laughs> so, and, and what really sold me uh, was the fact that uh, this entire game is made by one dude. Thomas Sella, Sellas? Uh, I don't know who that is. Apparently he's like, like a pretty well-known kind of legendary developer in the developer community. Um, I don't know. I'm not in that community. Um, but... The fact that he made this entire thing on his own is pretty remarkable, I have to say. Um, and it's not to, and and I'll have to say that I I played it I played this for like yeah fifteen minutes roughly just to get an idea. Um, and I within the first like five minutes I was like, oh yeah, this is this is something definitely worth exploring for a stream. <laughs> Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry that keeps happening. Every time I, uh, every time I click off the game, uh, the audio goes bye-bye. <laughs> it just disappears. Um, so, uh, I'm going to try to keep on the game. Uh, I'm actually going to minimize the OBS studio and I'm going to keep YouTube studio up so I can see the analytics. I can see the chat and everything, uh, which is everything that I really need to see, especially so I can see my own live feed up in the corner. So that should be enough to monitor for now. Uh, usually I have YouTube and OBS open. That's why I typically have the two monitors, but, um, anyway, let's go ahead and get going. Let's, let's, let's start with this thing. So let's, let's go to start first let's i think we're gonna honestly spend this stream pretty much just like learning how to play because it's a very unique game i'm actually playing this thing with a ps5 controller um it's optimized to be done with a controller which is interesting uh let's go ahead and hit start this is the campaign oh, mode. Here there's our boy the open world building sandbox it has a basic tutorial a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce and an ever-expanding set of encounters will depend on unlockables. I hope we're building sample. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so he said resources purely so distance-based and not quantity-based. That's interesting. Everywhere. There are no mistakes, and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting. So don't be afraid and go wild. Aye, aye, Thomas. Okay. Well, let's start with the first scenario. It's actually needing free house, New Haven, starting extractors, one of each, extractor range high, hostile encounters enabled. Ooh, 
raids enabled, resource depletion enabled, tutorial enabled. Okay. Well, I guess it's the best place to start. It's right here. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Trees. Ooh, that must be a special tree. Dallas, Moorbridge, and even Port Regal. Nothing remained of our prosperous three houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left. In order to resettle in peace. Away from the warlords Whoa. and victims that remain. We will succeed. Because on our backs the past is built, and from our hands the future will be born. Cool. Okay. Flying my surveyor, developing a command tower, exploring the open world. Okay. Ah, you're finally here. Oh, hello, Mr. Atlan. Essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. Okay. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways. Ooh, look at my little blimp. Later on. It's kind of chilling up there. First, Do it. connect this outpost to the wood mill, oh. which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Okay. We cannot build. Okay. How do I do that? Use the left stick to move your cursor. Oh. Oh, it's telling me elevation changes. Kind of neat. Yep. Press the square button to build a connecting walkway. Notice how workers are already building houses. And oh, look at that. Can I zoom in? Yeah. Look at that. Let's now focus on the woodmill. Oh, that's freaking. Wait, I can't. Hmm. I don't really. Ha Can I like free roam the camera, or is it always locked onto a building? Move the cursor near to the nearby woodmill, then press cross button to select the woodmill. This is your woodmill. It produces and transports. I hope so. It says woodmill over it. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. Okay, what does a wooden tower do for me? Extend the build line with the left stick until a circle is displayed, then press square button. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, build it right there. Nice! Whoa, look at all this stuff! What is all this stuff? Wait. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Okay. Yeah, that's freaking cool, like, how it, like, uh, procedurally generates around, like, all these little houses and structures and industries and stuff around the, uh... Oh, look at that! It's still, do it's still going! Freaking cool. Wish I could... I wish I had more freedom of the camera. Because... I can't. <clears throat> That's... No, I can't. No. Yeah, I think it, it, this locks me into. I have to move from building to building, I think. Only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Okay. Build more connecting towers and walkways from the wood mill. Inspecting, inspect the resource flow with R1. See the output of the windmill grow. Okay. Oh. Okay, so the, I'm, I've got plus eight wood. And that's flowing towards the main tower. Okay. Build more connecting towers and walkways from the windmill. Oh, plus nine. Inspect the resource flow with R1 to see the output of the windmill grow. Okay, so... What if I build there? Good work. The wood mill is now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the wood mill, we also build the stone quarry. Okay, now it's going towards that. that to our settlement. Okay, it's going towards all the towers. That plus ten. Build the connecting walkways to the stone quarry already built on the rock islands behind the wood mill. 
Oh, look at that. Ooh. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. How did it get built in the first place? Works similarly to your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited okay. number of walkways. Uh How about oh look at that. It like that's cool. It it, it maps the route around the elevation. That's really cool. I can connect it to that one or to that one. Honestly, it makes more sense for the elevation in the middle part to stay high. That way, like, ships and stuff can pass underneath it. I don't know. Um, let's connect it to this one. Yeah. Built. Oh, look, it kind of did that. I wish, again, I wish I could remove the camera a little bit more. Great job. But now you, could, you could see it, it built a bridge. Can be upgraded to stone. Okay. Move the cursor to the wooden tower, select it, and select the build line. Re retract it. And the build line retracted. Oh, okay. So, okay, there we go. Then press the square button to upgrade it. Upgrade at least one bit. I'm gonna, let me zoom in here. I want to see what this looks like. Stone tower created. Ooh, it looks like a rook. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Okay. Well, let's test that. Let's see here. The nearest building is always shown with an orange glow icon. Yeah, the camera movement's a little wonky. Um, that's my only complaint thus far. Why is the green line all squiggly? What does that mean? Population 144. Workers. Wood, stone, iron. I'm kind of sorry. My my head is blocking some of the info. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me do something real quick. Let me... I'm like in the way. Uh... Like that. There we go. Okay. Back to the game. Okay. Um. Yeah. What does that squig? What does the squiggly line mean? I'm, I. I want selector outpost cross button selects the nearest building to your. Oh, okay. I gotta go back to the outpost. Wait, wait. I want to see what what the stone thing does though. Hang on. Let me. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's all stone now. Just like the guy said. The bridge is gone, though. That sucks. It is cool how it, like, procedurally generates the whole thing. So, like, I bet. I'm actually wondering. Let me do it again. Nope. More or less the same. Interesting. Okay. Well, let me select it so I can maybe... Okay. Well, either way, it's freaking cool. Uh, let's go... This tower. Working on it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Again, camera navigation is a little tough. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> Everything is for the sake of producing workers. <laughs> we need drones, damn it. Add a foundation to your outpost. Extend the build line until square icons are displayed. Press square button when a square is displayed to build a foundation. Oh, okay. It was just the very okay. Square. The worker output of our outpost. What happened? Further... Oh, it's down there. Why is it way down there? How the fuck are they getting up here? <laughs> Build more connecting towers and walkways to your outpost. Inspect the worker flow of your outpost with R1. Okay, R1's already on. Woodmill plus 10. Quarry plus 6. 
And I got plus four workers, it looks like. So that means I need to build more foundation, which should increase my worker output. So, oh, I can build way out here. What's that look like? There we go. I still don't see how these guys are getting into town. Um, oh, what's the, there's a little plus sign. What does that mean? Oh, interesting. Yeah, God, I really wish I had a free roam camera. That is, <laughs> it's actually kind of bugging me now that I can't move my camera freely. Uh, go one more. No. Oh, it clipped into that house. Hmm. Okay, I gotta build more connecting towers and walkways to the outpost. Okay, so let me go down here. Select your outpost. So oh. Start expanding it further. What's going on with the music? Uh did the music get stuck? <laughs> Uh, that's kind of bad. Oh, it fixed itself. Okay. Developing a command tower, exploring the open world. We have okay. Well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron. Ooh, I get to go into my little drone. How do I do that? Triangle button to switch between ground and air modules. That makes sense. As a triangle is literally a button uh, or a tr uh, an arrow pointing up. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. Okay. It also helps to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Earth's east. Okay. Find an iron resource on one of the small islands nearby. Cross button to command your surveyor to fly towards the cursor. Share button to build within the resource area. Use share button to view the world map and see the nearest resources. Oh, share. The world map shows our holdings, which we oh. can fast travel to. Okay. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Very suspicious. Okay. Um, what's this? Doesn't tell me. Soul tree? What's soul? Whoa. The soul tree shows you captains and commanders that have been unlocked, accepted, and assigned per faction. More superior commanders and captains are unlocked as the population of a faction increases. Captains and commanders may also be unassigned and dismissed from here. Okay. Whoa. Oh, wow, this is like a logistics map. That's kind of neat. Mechanics on, like, new surveyor classes. Oh, my gosh. There we go. That you can choose to be your main surveyor. You can change your surveyor here. Okay. During your travels, outposts and other unique buildings you've just dismantled can be viewed here. They can be built using your surveyor wherever you wish. Okay, those are the three areas. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, let's go. Whoa, what's that? They look like bad guys. Like cool bad guys. Smelly log floater? Damn, that's a damning name. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, uh, what is this map? Oh my god, this map, oh my god! This map is huge! Holy shit! Molten Stream, the Temple of the Hidden Tears. Essenge es Wilds? Wilds? Salad Mount? <laughs> uh, Northgate, Fallen Peak, Basilicus Secundus. Westgate, 
Red Mouth Forge Company, The Shard, Dunkle Bound Sea Tree Company, Naughty Lock Basilisk, or no, Basilicus, Basilicus, The Maw. What is this? I wonder what this looks like. Stargazer and Oberon's Reach. <clears throat> oh God, there's still more. South Maw Wilds, Mason Theta, and New Remit. Wow, this is a huge map. Okay. Well, for now, for now, let's see about expanding to this island. Which is out here. That, well, that, doesn't look like, that looks like gold, not iron. Hmm. Your surveyor can build a mine on this farm. Oh. The workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Mine will allow our most advanced powers and builders. Cool. Okay, how do I build square to build within the resource area? Okay. Well, shouldn't I build it just like right on top of the metal? There we go. Oh, wow. He fucking hauled that place out. <laughs> Damn. Okay. How are supposed to be built in deep water, close to shore bound building. When your cursor changes to an anchor. Oh, like that. Suitable captain must then be assigned. Several captains are now available. Each captain holds specific resources. Okay. Well, I need... That's what I need. Fucking anti-wood bigot. Uh... I can only have one captain, right? Oh, no, I'm assigning people to the dock, not to the... Okay. Stone. My ship only carries wood. wood My ship carries wood. Oh, that's him. <laughs> well, that's My why would I want you when this, when this guy carries wood and people? I will carry stone Proper and slaver. Nothing else. I feel like wood's My more. Yeah. Oh, never mind. My ship only carries <laughs> My ship only. My ship only carries wood. I will carry stone. What about you? I will carry stone. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Harbors always need to be built as pairs. Okay. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. The captains will carry your resources over vast distances. Okay. Build the destination harbor in the deeper waters near your outpost. A trade route will be automatically established between the two harbors. The golden arrow on your compass points back to your outpost. Okay. Um, there's a tower right there, so let's build the dock extending out from that tower. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Okay. How do I use triangle? Okay. With iron, we can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers. But hey, Cornell. So, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. Citadel. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Upgrade my outpost to a citadel. With all major Whoa. At our disposal, let's focus on. Frickin' cool. Okay. Upgrade a basic or stone tower several times until it becomes a command tower. Oh, the, the houses are changing down here. Because I made it into a citadel, so all the... Oh, that's freaking cool! Is anything going to get built? <laughs> uh, okay, I need to go to a tower. Let me go to this tower. It's stone. First, I upgraded to stone, then a higher stone tower, and then to a command tower. 
Whoa. Then to a command tower. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to wood. Okay. Okay. Add more floors to the command tower when the tower is selected. Okay. By the way, Cornell, this is the first time I've ever streamed a game like from Steam, like on the PC. Uh, so let me know if like the game audio is fine in comparison to my voice. Just let me know. Uh, it would be very much appreciated. <laughs> Uh, okay, add floors. Okay. It's like, it's like, it's like, get, it's like the tower is getting a sheath. <laughs> the floor you are building from. <clears throat> Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Ooh, okay. Uh, use down button to move down the... To the lower floors needed to build foundations. Command tower foundations are strong okay. battlements that support your tower. Foundations allow more floors to be built on the tower. Okay, so do that. The foundation. <laughs> Look what I just made, chat. <laughs> Why did I have to go there? Why is that my first thought? <laughs> okay so can i build more floors now no okay use down button to move down to the lower floors you need to build down. okay four foundations for your oh okay okay gotcha go okay use up button to move to the higher floors you need to build balconies The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become if they are assigned here. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get a fucking. You never, you, you will have never seen a tower more expansive than this one, chat. <laughs> Build three balconies for your command tower. Okay. Like that. Whoa. Okay. That's freaking cool. Look at that. Okay, the coolest part of this game so far is the procedurally generated buildings. It looks great, too. I mean, yeah, you can see the seams and stuff like that, but, like, it's a damn good job, I have to say. Um, build a balcony. Well, that's just good. At, well, yeah, build a balcony there. Okay, and then build one looking over towards the Citadel. Wow! <laughs> How about there? This command tower is looking stout. We already have an. Oh yeah, I got a stout fucking tower, chat. <laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> Hold square button when your command tower is selected and the build line retracted to open the command the commander menu. You will find no finer stable, not since the heyday of the wars of Troy. In service to our people. Kind of tree was it? Birch? Pine? Alpine? Warbirds. Okay. Assigned commander. They better be. My stable mixes Zarko. If they're as fast as your voice is deep, then we're good to go, my friend. The likes of which have not been seen for decades. Okay. Whoever the hell Thomas Sella is, I don't know who this guy is, but the fact that he built this entire game all by himself. Holy f holy shit, dude. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but god damn, he's talented. <laughs> Okay. Our settlement is 
established. When the sur okay, now let's bring the surveyor closer. Of Citadel and Command House. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. Okay. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But oh, there's a ship. Who's that? If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure. I see people. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Earth City. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. Okay. Hang on. Who is this? I think it's a trade from a foreign faction? Can I upgrade the dock? No? Okay. Guys. Uh, Oh, yeah, it's all on you, isn't it? Can I, up I can't. Uh, okay. okay. Upgrade the iron mill? No? Okay. Not a lot of options there. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Uh, this is actually, I feel like, the best way to free travel is with a Zeppelin. Camera's still a bit wonky, but that's what, that's the only complaint I have so far, is the camera's a little restricted and weird with the controller, but... Okay, let's go find... Let's go find fo some filthy foreigners. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Ooh. Perhaps we can take these people to them. Okay, where? Oh, like this? Right here. Big question mark on the building. <laughs> what is that? What is this? What is this? What do I have to do? Okay. Open map. Move surveyor. Resource flow. Switch buildings. Investigate. Square button hold. Oh. My group and I have been on the run for so long. We seek refuge and will submit to your service. Oh yeah, Neil, bitch. I like your fancy twirly little mustache, though. Uh, fresh combat. Infamous Lustinoff. Pirates. Fresh combat forces. Outpost to salvage and relocate. Increases banterless alignment if placed. In that case... No, I don't want hostiles. Thus... Alright. You're mine. Now what do I do? Uh. Oh, I need to build. This is too close to something else. Oh. Here. Oh. The question mark is forming an arrow. I don't know what's. Oh, who's this? Oh, you look, you look mean. I don't know if I like you, brother. What can I... <laughs> I'll just clip right through him. Huh. Okay. Move surveyor, open map, switch to buildings. Oh, here we go. Okay. Demolish, hold circle button. Oh. Okay, so I'm salvaging everything. Got it. Okay. Let's head back. Wait, there's another question over here. What's the, yeah, what's that? What's this? What's this? I see you. I see you, and you're very sus. You're a sus. Huh? Investigate square button. You. What are you? Gain a transport vessel. Workers. Iron. Increases banalist alignment if placed. 
support, with or without your permission, you ain't worried there, mate. Oh. You want the fastest run? You have enrolled okay. a ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Okay. Let's head back to the base. Uh, select higher floor, lower floor, sign commander, demolish. I don't want to demolish. Hang on. The Riddler? Yeah. <laughs> Captain Mauler of the EFAT pirate group? I know, right? It it does look like that, doesn't it? Wait, where'd it go? It was following me around. Where'd it go? The I could... Settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Really? We can take these people in. Where? Oh, look at that. Oh, there he is. Let me get a good look at you. Eh. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> the camera! Ah! Let's head over, over here, because he'll go up. There we go. Let me get a good look at him. Look at that. It's totally Mauler, isn't it? That is absolutely Mauler. <laughs> uh, where was the settlement? Oh, there it is. There it is. Whoa, what's that? That's that looks that looks different. This The order? Uh, anything that has the word order in it is automatically bad. <laughs> Outpost to salvage and relocate increases Mancer alignment? What's Mancer? Let's go ahead and salvage that. Okay. Just keep exploring. Keep exploring out this way. What's that? Like a ship graveyard? Can I do anything with this? Our settlement's too far away. Okay, no. Interesting. Like a volcanic rock over here. What's this? Is this anything? Can I do something with this? Up, 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 up. Building there would be too unstable. That makes sense. <laughs> I was thinking I could make like a Dr. Evil layer. Nothing there. Buildings on the horizon. Oh, the wrong way. That way. Look at that. What is this? Good day. You might not happen to be the master race yet. I can oversee your stone production and improve it significantly. Ooh. Gain commander and increases free house alignment if placed. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, we need to build a dock. This is cool. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. Okay. So we need to assign someone who can ship stone and workers to the eventual dock that I build. Wait. What do we do with this? Higher floor, lower floor, assign commander, demolish. Assign a commander. My masons are preparing the finest stone slabs and manifest okay. the strongest concrete. Okay, but you need a I need a dock. The building design looks cool. Okay, let's uh over here. This looks like right there. This is too close to something else. Oh. Right there. Go. Nothing else. 
that's exactly what I need. Okay. My ship only carries wood and Okay. So now I need to build a sister port. Uh back home. What is this? It's like another quarry. The Red Mouth Orthodoxy? Do they worship the volcanoes? If that's what the case, that's a freaking clever, cool name. Game Commander increases free house alignment if placed. Okay. <clears throat> Is there any reason not to accept people? I guess maybe because you want to maintain alliances. That's the only thing I could think of right now. see here okay so this resource extractor is missing access to workers wait what is it iron it's an iron work okay so back out here we need to build build a dock here and a sign Captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Wait, what? Harbor End. Oh. Um. <laughs> I think I screwed up. <laughs> the refugee settlement has been spotted Hang on. on horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. What do you hear? There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Hmm. Okay. The problem is that now this, the guy out here, the stone quarry way out there is delivering the stone to the iron mine and not to the home base. That's the problem. How do I fix that? Oh, I could demolish it. There we go. <clears throat> okay, get back in the sky. It's our main base. We need to build... I need to build a tower. I can't build... Oh, it's... Okay. Hmm. We'll build a tower here. Upgraded a couple times. And then... Back up here. We're going to build a dock right there. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Okay, good. Okay, so now... We got workers... But this prosperity is going to the far the, the far quarry and stone coming in perfect trade route security seriously trade routes that are long resource rich or run past unaligned faction settlements are at increasing risk of being raided oh that's bad uh what I'm gonna do from here I'm going to can I, how far out can I go Actually, you know what? That'd be a cool. Pl Let me build it. Hang on. I want to. I want to get all like make a Lord of the Rings kind of tower, right on the edge. Yeah. There we go. Then I build another tower out here. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Okay. And there is no iron available for this upgrade. Uh oh, I have no iron. That's bad. That's very bad. Um, but 
But... Oh, what does the skull mean? Build outpost. Next droppable building. I don't know what those symbols mean. I can build whatever the arrow means. Or I can build whatever the skull means. Uh, okay, there's resource symbols. There's command icons. Command towers. Random events. Alignment. Mancer or bannerless. Combat is fairly straightforward. Your battle group will... Okay, we'll get to there, that in the tutorials. Okay. <clears throat> I need to build whoop 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 go this way this way there we go I need to build a dock okay so this is iron so I need to do that build up a, a dock well then, screw off. Perfect. Then I come back here. And I drop a connecting dock. Why is it making a pirate symbol? <laughs> right there. This trade route is now connected. Perfect. Can transport their specific goods back and forth. Okay, iron coming in, workers going out. That's exactly what I need. Perfect. This is the way. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, what's interesting is that um, the, the resources, I still haven't quite figured out how this works, but the resources are not based on quantity but on distance in some way um i haven't quite figured out that dynamic though what's out here what they got seen out here are the i swear these are being procedurally generated because i went out here and this was not there before <laughs> okay what are you yeah 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 you're you're mine now Goodbye, Citadel. Cool. I want to see what the... How do I open the map again? Oh, that's a quick way to get the blimp to go. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So the world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. Okay. We'll also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters. There's one. As suspicious locations. Smelly log floater. That looks very suspicious. <clears throat> I mean, look, it's, it's he's wearing a mask and he's got sunglasses on. He's definitely a sussy. Um A wood, there's a wood place right here. Hang on. Where is that? It's just like right over here. Is it this? It is this. You have no available resource extractor. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a shame. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Sure. See what they're up to. We are but humble refugees. Many from the great imperial houses. Please demolish this paltry holding. Ah, they're not refugees. They're economic migrants. They're full of shit. They're just trying to take advantage of the system. 
she's going to go get a debit card for like $10,000 when she goes to New York chat. Don't fall for it. <laughs> Outpost to salvage and relocate increases Imperium alignment. Imperium alignment. Go. Something out here too now. Oh. There's a ship entering my waters. This water is mine. What you doing here? The ship Gain a transport vessel. Wood, iron, and stone. Ooh. <clears throat> Undocumented, yeah. Increases bannerless alignment. Okay. Okay, but I want to look at. Pay attention to the political influence of your settlement. Okay. If one faction becomes dominant over the others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. I guess that's bad. <laughs> I want to look at what the smelly log floater is. Colony ahead. Oh. What does that mean? This woodman and all Whoa. Lay off the weed, bro. Uh, I could declare war. Establish trade. Established trade harbor. But we lost some good fighters. How about you send over some workers to the trade harbor and we can send some wood in exchange? Okay. A trading harbor requires resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. Be sure to build a connecting harbor. Assigning the right captains that will provide the required outgoing and exchange incoming resources. Okay. This harbor isn't connected yet. It needs to be joined up to a bigger origin harbor where captains can be assigned. Oh, so I need to build... Uh... Where can... It won't let me build anywhere, damn it. <laughs> no? You cannot build a harbor this close to another harbor. Ugh. Okay, I don't really quite understand how this works. <laughs> this harbor isn't connected yet. Needs to be joined up to a bigger origin harbor where captains can be assigned. Okay, but how do I do that? The smallest are just assigned captain, but I can't assign a captain. Resource flow zero. Select nearest building. Can't even get. Okay, now it's appearing at least. I'm regretting building that thing. <laughs> okay. You have no available resource extractors. Oh. Okay. About declare war. Select the trade harbor. A trading harbor. Requires resources, resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. Huh? Be sure to build a connecting harbor. Assigning the right captains that will provide the required outgoing and exchanged incoming resources. But 
I can't. It won't let me build a normal harbor, though. Bannerless Trade Harbor. Captain. Might tell me to join. A trading harbor requires risk. I don't. Hmm. I do not get it. My captain are demolished. What if? Hang on. What if I get rid of it for a sec? This guy gets in range. Now I can't build a harbor at all. Okay, I don't... What the hell's been assigning captains? Oh, I know, it's blasphemous. Well, I, I can have a fleet. I can have my own fleet. I could be like that, that pirate bitch from China all those years ago who had like an armada of pirate ships. Uh, President Captain... Hellman, the, the Supreme General. <laughs> uh, I, I'm partial to the title of Premier. <clears throat> Premier Helmsman. I love it. I know it's Russian, but I like it. <laughs> okay, I don't know how this kind of settlement works. I just don't know. You have no available. Shut up. You have no. Nothing's getting. Yeah, I don't know what to do with you, buddy. <laughs> I don't understand you. Before the Great War, the Imperium held the resources and the Mansa controlled the technology. Now only petty fiefdoms squabble for what little remains of Earthy's old regime. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. You know what I just realized, too, is that... These routes are relatively safe. Oh, look at that. You can you can select a waypoint on the big map and then my boy here will automatically go there. That's useful. That way I don't have to spam X to get him to constantly move. That's cool. Another one? Perhaps we can take these to the fleet. Look at that. We are but humble refugees. Ah, oh, these guys. Damn refugees. Taking all our jobs. I guess really that that's what I'm doing here. Like I, I have I'm like hoarding all these settlements by salvaging them, and I can replace them wherever I want to put them, which is good because if I go to the map, I want to place them kind of like along these longer trade routes. Uh, that way they have some level of protection against raiding. I think. Uh, let's play with that mechanic over here. So, Amira Foxchev. Oh yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, so I'm right along a trade route now. So, oh, but it has to be built in the shallows. That's what these shallows are for. Okay. There you go. So I can build for that faction. That faction. That faction. A few from that faction. Do that. Excellent. We have an outpost that provides workers. Okay. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influences the balance of power to your settlement. Okay. Okay. So that's the idea here is. Something is ahead. Oh. Stay alert. 
Whoa. What is that? It's it's smoky and black and scaly. <laughs> what is that? What's more valuable than a warm heart in these bleak times? Well, look no further. What the hell? The fabricator of boilers and heaters out of its actual service. Had some minor mishaps at my previous victory, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II. Businesses appear. Oh, okay. Interesting. But hang on, let me go back to that outpost that I built before. It's big, it's black, it's... <laughs> it's, it's gonna attack. <laughs> he big, he black, but most importantly, he attack. <laughs> Um, that is not what I just built. Where is the thing I just built? Where'd that go? It's, is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay. I was going, there it is. Okay, so, I built this little outpost. So now, go down to ground level. Uh, I can start extending out. You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Oh, that's bad. How do I get wood to it then? Um, I can't do shit. You cannot expand further without Scout around with your surveyor to look for sea tree there. fun guy and build a wood mill next to it. Then connect it to where. Oh. Then connect it. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. God, these refugees these are really good at just spawning it out out of nowhere. Okay, that thing is too far away. Wait, that's not it. I've already established that place. Oh, it looks like there's a storm coming. Storms are coming in. I'm gonna i I'm gonna demo this thing. Hang on. It's no it's I, I, I need to build close to the sea the sea fungi trees. Yeah, I, I gotta find some fun guys. <laughs> okay. Here. Okay. Oh my god, get a new lot get a new line. Okay. But again, I need to find Hmm. -mm. Here. There's wood right there. Temple of the Hidden Tears? That sounds cool. I want to go there. See, outpost, I'm going exploring. I'm going on an adventure. This is like a dark, gritty, steampunk wind waker. <laughs> Where it's just a bunch of islands in an ocean. Wow, how far away is this place? Okay, I'm about halfway there. 
refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Where? Perhaps we oh. can take some Yeah, sure, we'll grab them real quick. Why not? I'll research. Okay. Oh, I think this is it. Is this it? Stone quarry here. Yeah, this is it. A resource colony ahead. Oh god, they put these damn resource colonies. Look at this. Hello? Admiring the mount's advancement, sir. Sad it took four decades of war to get here. Now it's going to waste because so many have left us. Well, that's your fault. I just want your shit. In exchange for a stone. That suit you? Iron in exchange for stone? Mm. Oh, more refugees. At least there was. It was there. It was there for a second. Okay, whatever. Oop. See here. What is that? Mancer Citadel. Okay. Get maps, switch to buildings. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud. <laughs> Okay, what's going on here? Uh, I need to salvage this. Okay. And molten stream. That sounds cool. Buildings on the horizon. I see them. Should be able to. We, the speakers of the sacred steps, have seen better days, but I'm proud. Oh man, they're replacing all of our steps with elevators. We brought those together to speak that needed to be heard, and we are now available to help ease your factional tensions. And there's a typo there. We are now a valuable. <laughs> I mean, I know this was all made by one guy, but come on, that's inexcusable. <laughs> I feel like like any criticisms that I have towards this game can be like nullified just by the fact that it was all this was all done by one dude. Like Fine. Something else out here too. What's over here? It says there's something out here. Is it the ship? Here. What is it steering me towards? It's steering me towards the ship. Okay. Whatever. Fine. Go. One man cranked this out by hand in a fucking cave in the Middle East. <laughs> yeah, Osama bin Laden, he, he, uh, he had a dream of creating a steampunk city building game. So uh, America faked his death and then seque sequestered him in a cave Iron Man style. And now we have this. <laughs> Oh, the ship is gone. Where'd it go? Travel here. Yes. Where are we going? That's my citadel. Okay. Oh, what's that? I don't want to, I'm trying to I'll start to think about trying out the other scenario. Maybe it'll introduce me to other gameplay systems, I'm thinking. Maybe? I don't know. 
Come on. Come on. Dude. Okay. Go over here. Thank you. Go, go. Over over here. Go. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're all mopey and struggling, whatever. Uh <laughs> there was something there. <laughs> there was something that got clipped inside the mountain. Uh hey, let me do this. Let me let me save this. Wait, what? Okay. And then let me go. I don't want to close the game. I'm just gonna close the. Whole... Okay. If I go to start, there's other scenarios here. It's the campaign mode. Here you get a word of advice. Click and build everywhere. There this. Are no mistakes and the Mansur Order want to reestablish their oppressive monopoly on technology and science. It's about experiment. Okay. The path of our people. Whoa. We maintain civilization and technology amongst this vast world. It's people too humble to develop and prosper without our vaults of wisdom. An ancient legacy filled with secrets and history. All of this now scattered across the ocean. We will join That's freaking cool. So we must forge our own way forward. Very, uh, why does it remind me kind of like the, the, the what was it, the Temple of Nod from uh, Command and Conquer? Okay. I am just a blimp. Open map. Move surveyor. Is it the exact same map? Okay, it's the same map, but oh, it's not. Well, hmm. yeah, because originally my it was like I, I was this was my original map right here for the last campaign. So start me down here this time. Okay, uh, wood is well. I need to build a citadel first. It needs to be centrally located between the stone and the wood. Where's iron? There's more wood. Where is the nearest iron? There is no iron nearby. That's not good. Well, if stone and wood is all we have, then that's what we'll use. Um, so, let us get into the shallows. Um... Yeah, we'll build the citadel. Right. Hang on, actually. Before no, 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 no. Hang on. Hang on. I can only build in the shallows. So I don't want to build it in a place where I can I, I can't really expand. So let's Is there a bigger patch of shallows that I can build in? Not really. How easy is it for me to get to... Okay, there's the wood. There's the wood. Iron was back here. I, I could build over the land as well. So I think that's what we're going to have to do. I kind of want to be closer to the wood than to the... Ah. ah, screw it. We're just going to build right here, and then hopefully we can get across. Let's do it. Excellent. Okay. We have an outpost that provides workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Influence is the balance of power for your settlement. Oh, I have no wood, though, so I can't expand. What? You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Okay, do that... Okay, hang on. Do I have to go and build from the wood to the tower? Is that what I have to do? Go over here. 
Okay. Your surveyor can build a woodmill here. Okay. Build it and attract past people and industry around it. Improving the distance would Okay. Supply. Got some wood. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. Well, okay, there we go. I can start building paths out. It's a, it's a ways to go, but we can get there. Build that. Uh, do I want to go over this? Hmm. Let's go over this. Then... Uh, I can't reach. Let's build here. And, and I'm out of wood. Well, if that's the case, then let me go up here. Let me demo the citadel I built. Where is it? There you are. Close. There you go. Okay. Citadel's gone. Now, come over here. And let's build... Let me build the citadel. Just... How about right there on top of that rock? Excellent. We have an outpost that provides work. That looks weird. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influences the balance of power for your settlement. Uh Okay, I need to demo this. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> and then from here I build that. I think we're in business now. Got ourselves a nice little citadel. There is no stone available for this upgrade. Ah, uh, I need stone. Can I upgrade the wood? No. Okay. A wood radius would be nice. I, yeah, I, I agree. Right now. The outpost is creating workers. And the wood is flowing. I got plus four wood. Which I think means that I can build like four nodes out. Uh, from the, the wood source. So I have... Uh, I have one here. The tower. I have the citadel. That's two. I have here... So I think, yeah, I can. I can build one out this way. Uh, find a... I don't want to build out from there, though. I want to build out from the citadel. I want to build this way. Let's be weird and build directly up and over these rocks. Like a totally sane person would do. <laughs> there we go. Now, oh, I can keep building. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, let's reach rock across these shallows. Now, see, that's cool. It recognizes that there's a gap of deep water. So it builds like a, a, a an elevated bridge so that ships can pass beneath uh, the path. That's cool. Um, now, from here, um, we need to get on land. Let's build a, a little tower right there. And then from here, up. Oh, can't move it. Can't move further than that. Uh, okay. The question now is, oh, I can I can build this way though. So I can build that way, but I can't build this way. Is it because of proximity? Is that the reason why? Hmm. Well, either way, I want to... I want to keep expanding outwards from the Citadel. So let me do this. See if I can... Build that. Okay.
Because I'm establishing, like, places where I can put docks. Ooh. This will attract new Mansa captains and commanders to our banner. Installing these people will increase our alignment to the Mansa order further. Okay, I have I have a lot of workers. I got plenty of workers. Okay. So let me think here. Let me think. What if hang on, let me move up here. What if I did this? Head over to the stone. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's over here somewhere. Up. Oh, this way. Somewhere over here. There. We spotted a good spot for a stone quarry. Okay. The stone and gravel will allow us to build upgraded stone and concrete towers and walkways. Okay, there's a stone quarry. Then I build a ship dock right here. We'll only carry <clears throat> oil and workers for our industry. I will carry stone and workers only. Perfect. Then I'll come over here. Uh the sister dock will be It won't let me build a dock. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, I kind of want it close to the Citadel, though. Actually, you know what? That's good right there. This is good. Perfect. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific... So I got workers going to the stone mill, and I got stone coming back to the Citadel. Perfect. Producing plus six. Very nice. Very nice. Got plus six workers. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Actually. Let me see. Let me see. Because I want to see what all the different um, upgraded bits look like for these. Because this is a completely different architecture than the first one. Let me zoom in here. I can upgrade. I can upgrade. I can upgrade. Okay. It looks like evil Star Trek. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's got two blades on the side now. Cool. What does an upgraded tower look like, I wonder? Oh, it looks the same? Oh. Fuck you, then. Let me rebuild this. Look at... Why does it go up? <laughs> Why is it going up before it goes down? That looks weird. Let me see. Yeah, that's what it is. That's freaking weird. Now, that, the, the whole procedurally generated buildings and stuff that, like, form around the paths and the buildings and stuff, that's the coolest part, I swear. It's impressive. I mean, kind, I mean, every city builder is kind of a puzzle game. Like, how do I get these resource? How do I take advantage of these resources quite so I can expand in this way? You know what I mean? It, uh, city builders in general are very much problem solving exercises. <gasps> I haven't. There is no oh. Available for this upgrade. Why does it show a blue then? Because orange, I thought meant that it can't upgrade. Uh, there. Let's upgrade this guy. And rebuild this path. Ooh, that looks clean. Look at that. Oh, there's something over here. What's over here? Over here. Oh, it's okay. It's got me scouting out another wood in, a wood encampment. Looks like. Aye, 
So it looks like each of the three campaigns, there's like, there's the Mercers, the, the Free Banners. There's the, the Imperial. And I guess there's like a couple more factions. All right, what's going on here? What you up to? What is that accent? Well, I mean, games in general are kind of puzzles, aren't they? <laughs> Game commander increased free house on limited placed. I mean, yeah, sure. What is that accent, though? <clears throat> um, Let's see here. I actually don't want to demolish this if I don't have to. Let's see. Build a tower here. You want to do that? You Why not? The metal to build this structure. Make sure this location is connected and in range. Of Never mind. <laughs> I didn't mean to get accosted. Sorry. Uh, let me. Uh, yeah. Windmill. Can I build? Dock. No. Oh, here we go. There we go. I do that. I will only carry iron and workers for our rig. My ship only carries wood and workers. And Perfect. Okay. Now let me head back to base. More wood is always good. Oh, there's a ship right here. So, you have stone and iron. Okay. They can be assigned to transport goods. Let's build. Right there. This trade route is now connected. Perfect. Captain can transport their specific goods. All right, I got workers going out. Wood coming in. Beautiful. I like it. They should build. Yeah, they should start building. I could I could produce more wood if I build towers that span out from the from the wood mill, Just like that. There we go. Now it's producing. Press eight. Beautiful. If I build one here. There is no stone available for this upgrade. That's okay. I got I'm kind of building like a little harbor here now. That looks cool. Who doesn't love some wood? Yeah. Wood is the essence of life. <laughs> um uh oh. It's getting kind of stormy. Uh I am almost maxed out on wood. Producing plus 10, plus I got the wood coming in from that other outpost. So I'm solid when it comes to wood production at this point. And I am opening myself up massively uh, for clipping right now. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's go back to our blimp. We need iron. We really need iron. And I don't see any good source of iron. Oh, what's that? What is that? Go find out what that is, Blimp. This big refugee outpost. These are hard times, and thus they bring the need for uneasy alignment. Increases bannerless alignment. Sure, I need like. We are prospering, but this prosperity is attracting criminals. We uh oh. We need to start taking our trade route security seriously. Trade routes that are long, resource rich, or run past unaligned faction settlements are at increasing risk of being raided. 
Okay. How do I do that? <laughs> this place is producing a lot of workers. I almost want to just do this. Carry iron and workers. My ship carries work. I carry iron and stone from your mines and quarries. My I will only carry iron and workers for our ah. The iron I carry for us is helping our settlement grow and prosper. What iron? There's no iron here, that's only workers. Whatever. I no I'm noticing limited dialogue. Again. I'm will I'm willing to forgive it again because this is all done by one person. <laughs> Um, it's all too close. Okay. Put it there. Okay. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Okay. Cool. We got plenty of wood. I got plenty of workers. Um... Iron really does feel like the next step. So let's find Stargazer, Oberon's Ranch, a Reach. New Remit? Ooh, they look evil. Hmm. Hmm. Any logs? Okay. Let's. I kind of want to. I'm thinking about going towards New Remit. Buildings on the horizon. Where? Okay. What is this? Oh, I think these are my boys. That's a lighthouse. Feel free to take ownership of the lighthouse. Maybe even dismantle it and move it somewhere useful. Okay. Uh, there's something out here too. It says out here. What's out here? Where is this question mark taking me? Whoa! What is going on over here? Oh, it's a ship. It's just a ship. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Gain transport vessel for wood increases bannerless alignment in place. Sure. Trade ship captain. They can be assigned to transport. And what's going on over here? This looks like a full on settlement. What is this? What's going on here? Looks like a big wood producing settlement. Okay. We're more aligned than intimidated. That's good. I feel like I don't really need... I, I don't need wood, though. I need iron. I need iron. I need iron. <clears throat> oh, shit. There's a... Let's see if we can catch the ship before it disappears. Giant smelly wood. <laughs> a ship has entered our waters. Marked on the map. I already found it, brother. It's weird that the 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 blimp thing sounds like a train. <laughs> a refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Uh, is the ship gone? Nope, I, I went right over it. Hang on, where is it? There you are. You want the fastest runner on the air sea. Workers and iron? Your best choice. You yeah, that's perfect because I'm trying to establish an iron. An iron outpost, so you'll be the perfect captain for that. When did this fucking thing pop up? Last 
outpost to salvage and relocate. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. Okay. Yeah, it's only creating three workers. That's not really... Yeah. You are worthy of demolition. Then, okay, new remit. That's where we. That's where I wanted to explore too. Ah, there's another. Tr oh, hang on, hang on. Dang it, there's another boat. Gotta go recruit another boat. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're buying. They can be assigned to transport troops. Also, that guy looks like Nerd Roddick X. All right. Ner Wait, Nerd. Put the things in the way. Nerd Roddick X Arch. <laughs> Admittedly, a lot of these people, a lot of these characters look like Arch. <laughs> Ooh. In the Not just that. But that's, this is a wood settlement right here, too. So let's mark that. And there's one of those weird technology question marks. Hang on. Get in there. What's more valuable than a warm heart? Businesses appear. It's purely an aesthetic thing. But whatever. Game is Nor in Norwegian. I don't know the the guy who made it. His name is Thomas Tomas Sellas or Tomas Sella. I think is his name or Sala, something like that. Um, and Tomas is spelled T O M A S. So I don't really, I don't actually know how to pinpoint that that name in terms of nationality. I'm not familiar with the guy. Look at this. by now the Bannerless have done well for themselves while you lot have been busy fighting fighting and fucking <laughs> about settlement that was trade harbor and we can offer you some iron for it <gasps> yes a trading harbor requires resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries be sure to build a connecting harbor Assigning the right captains that will provide the required outgoing and exchange incoming resources. Correct. I need. I need. Okay. Uh. So I hope I have a captain. That can transport both wood and iron. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, I need to get all the way back to base here. I need to set. I need to establish a direct route. Yeah, I think I understand how the the, the trading thing. Because like a normal outpost that I establish, like a remote outpost for resources, they only require workers. Um. Whereas, settlement has been spotted on the horizon. whereas the, like the kind of thing I'm setting up now, they don't want workers. They have workers. They 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 want to do like an actual genuine trade, or, or of one resource for another. So luckily, I set up that other outpost that's producing wood, and I built this up. So I got plenty of wood to give away. Um, so I build it right here. Nope. I don't have anybody that has iron and wood. I've been chased for stealing wood from Salakov's uncle before. You think wood? 
I think lightly plundered. I carry iron and stone in your My ship carries wood. Uh, well, okay. I carry iron and stone in your mind. I need somebody with iron. I'll transport people and iron. Then we I carry iron and stone from your mind. We okay. find empty docks at both ends. My ship carries wood. We find empty docks at both ends of this trade route. It appears our skills I oh. carry iron and stone. Well, fuck stone. you then. My ship carries wood. Things are good. Okay. I carry iron and we are assisting in the growth of your settlement. Okay. The path still remains strong. Okay, so one of these guys, we are assisting in the one of them is bringing bringing wood to the settlement, and the other one is bringing iron back. So it's it's not efficient, but it gets the job done. You're gonna show your dad a meme. <laughs> I can appreciate that. All that is left in this world. Wood, iron. <gasps> you have enrolled oh my god. Captain. That just, that's a perfect, that's perfect. That just dropped right into my lap. Holy shit. Hang on. Things are good. Go away. I carry my ship. Things are good. My no. We are I carry iron. We find M. I ca my ship. I carry iron. I've been I'll transport anything but people. Keep that. This route will do. Nice and quiet. Nice. I appreciate you finding a place for me. Wait, do I still need? Hang on. It appears a fellow captain here is protesting my presence on this route. So I suppose I cannot sail here with them. Okay. Carries wood. Things are good. Okay. Interesting. I guess it has to be two separate things. I don't I don't know exactly how that works, but either way, it's working. I've got iron coming into the colony now. That's what I need. Um <clears throat> in fact might can I Yes! Look at that! Whoa, what? Oh, that's bad. Uh oh. How do I mitigate that? Whoa. Holy shit. There's a fighting going on. Whoa. What's happening? Who's... Uh... Hang on. I'm just going to leave you there because you're a good in a good position to protect the trade route. I think. Can I? Okay, I can't change it. Okay. I guess we won the fight. I don't know with what resources we won the fight, but we won the fight. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, that looks like an enemy ship to me. Hang on. Go back. Back here. Come on here. Hey, you. It's just sitting there on fire? <laughs> What's going on? You okay, buddy? Okay, he got himself fixed up. That's my trade ship. Oh, okay, that's my trade ship. So when it's red, that means it's damaged or incapacitated. Got it. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. I got another trade rat out here. I should try to do... So I got... This guy protecting this route. I need some. I need to protect this route. This is a very long distance route. Um, let's find a good place along this route to drop a citadel. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people. Okay. 
Uh, but then man, I need wood to expand the damn citadel, though. Hmm. Outpost to salvage and relocate increases Mancer alignment. Well, I am Mancer, so that's always a good thing. Now, I guess what I could do to get the wood that I need... I, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Let me go. There is a wood... There's a wood outpost. Or a wood resource. Somewhere over here. There. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right there. Right there. Okay. It has to be in the shallows, though, doesn't it? Ah. Uh, there's no real good place to build this thing. You have no available resource extractors. Oh. How do I get resource extractors? Damn it. <laughs> hmm. Because one thing I could do... That thing's making a ton of wood right now. So what I could do... Is the trade route... There is... That citadel. That's producing workers wood here. Stone. There's a protected citadel there. Okay, right here. This is producing wood and transporting the wood back to the base. What if I built a citadel like I don't know, maybe like right here-ish? <clears throat> Either there or, like, here. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere along this trade route. And then I, I built a sister port to the citadel so that the wood goes to that citadel out here somewhere instead of back to the main base. And that way, that wood supply will enable that citadel, citadel to expand and be, like, a, a good defensive outpost for the trade route. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I kind of want to build it, like, right there, like, right in the middle. So, I'm going to do that. Let me go build the outpost. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but the guy, the guy, but Tomas told me to, like, just start building random shit, though. He's like, don't worry, it's all good. Like, you're meant to, like, just build, build, build. So, it's like, 10-4. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's okay. Because uh, what I can do... Uh, I can go back here. Then a refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. I can go back here. Uh it's this one here. This. If I Destroy that. What the hell? It just warped me somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Go back out to the citadel. And build the sister port. That citadel. Right here. Okay. Boom. Right there. It's actually pretty damn close by. Your Look at that. Is now yeah. Goods and now... Board. Look at that. Now I can build. Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful. Build out that way. And build out that way. Build out that way. Build out that way. And up. No oh. 
available for this upgrade. Oh, I gotta get stone there. Uh, it's producing workers though. Look at the starfish. I made a starfish. <laughs> yeah, I beat you to it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need to get stone. Okay, where's stone? I have this. Can I build more than one? Hmm. Look at that. I found there's an uh look at that. There's iron right here. Oh, what's going on with the ship? Why is it orange? What's going on? That line was glitching the fuck out. Did you see that? <laughs> that blue line, how much it was, like, flashing? Okay, I'm at the stone quarry. Can I build another dock? Like, right there. Okay. I carry iron and stone from your mines and quarry. I've been chased for stealing of transport people. And iron. I carry iron and stone from your mines and quarries to wherever you need it. We are assisting in the growth of your settlement. You're the man. All right. Now, I come down this. Get the hang of it, chat. I think I'm getting the hang of it. <clears throat> are one of our uh oh. Send your flagship to deal with them. Where? Hang on. I gotta build. I gotta build a dock first. Hang on. Uh, right there. Why not? Why not? Right there. Okay. Now you're getting stoned as well. The captain can transport their specific goods. Boom! Look at that. Yeah. There is no iron available for this upgrade. Oh, that's right. I need iron to get the third upgrade. Okay. Enemies are wreaking havoc. The captain has lost their ship. What? There is no stone. Where? Oh shit, way up here? Damn! What's happening? Everything was going so so well. And then conflict happened. Why you do this? Oh my god, there's like a full on oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. What is happening out here? Well, I have the superior forces. Man the turrets. Did we get him? Okay, so he okay, that's what happens. So if a vessel gets to gets incapacitated, it automatically returns to its origin point. And then it has to, like, take some time to repair. And then trade can resume. Okay. Okay, obviously there needs to be some level of protection out here. Um, it looks like... Can I build from here? Doesn't look like I can build from here. Uh, no. Okay. Okay, because I'm looking at this and I'm seeing all these shallows. Like I could easily build. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We can take these people to you. Okay, let's see what they have to offer. Okay. Come on. Get up, get up there. Go on. We are but humble refugees. Imperium alignment. Okay. Please demolish this paltry holding, and we will rebuild wherever you survey a good spot. Okay. Okay. 
I kind of hang on. I want to go back out to that outpost I was building earlier. Hang on. Where was it? Right here? This is it. Back out this way. <clears throat> is this connected? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this connected to anything? I got a basic tower. Analyst Citadel. Bunch of nothings. Basic tower. Man, this thing is kind of useless. Of this thing. Okay. This is the citadel I was looking for. Cool. Okay. There is no iron available for this upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your damn iron. There is no stone available for this upgrade. What do you mean? There's stone coming in. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Um. Okay. Well, I think we've got the gist of this game well met. down. Data transport time. vessel, stone workers, Let's sure. Enrolled a trade ship captain. <clears throat> they can be assigned to transport goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that a million times. Um, wow, look at the wood production over here. Holy shit. Wood plus 20? Damn. God damn. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Um. I think we got the, I think we got the gist of, of this thing. Um, pretty damn cool, I have to say. I, I want to explore it more off stream, um, and uh, keep playing with it, keep experimenting, with it, and try the different campaigns and stuff like that. Uh, I'm probably not going to stream it again, um, but I thought this was a cool little, you know, indie showcase that was very on brand, a uh, little bit of a different uh, change of pace. Um, but that was fun. Uh, <clears throat> cool. <laughs> I don't really know what to say anymore. Um, very unique. I mean, for a city builder kind of game, it's a very, very unique idea, I have to say. Uh, and fucking hat tip to, to Thomas Sella, uh, Thomas Sala for making this whole thing all on his own. It's fucking impressive. Um, absolutely impressive. So, uh, if you want to support the game, uh, it's just on Steam. Just look up uh, Bulwark, uh, and Bulwark Falconer Chronicles will show up. It's I think it's only like it's not full price. I know that. Um, I think it's only like 30, 40 bucks, maybe even less. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, this is a, this is a very cool, very cool project that he came up with. Kudos, 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 kudos. So yeah. Go support the creator. He's going up, up against a couple of juggernauts with this release because I think there's two, like, civilization builder games that are coming out, like, within the month that are going to, pro unfortunately, probably overshadow this thing. So, if you have some money to spend, you're looking for a little bit of a different change of pace, uh, give this one a look. I think, it, I think it's fun. I think you did a good job, Mr. Sala. So... Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to give you your evening back. Um, and I will have waiting rooms up uh, for our regular streaming schedule tomorrow. Uh, we're just continuing as usual. Uh, next Saturday, so we'll be from today, uh, we're going to do a reaction stream. Um, that'll be fun. I'm going to be building my model uh, with a hand cam and doing reactions. Uh, and because I don't have to worry about music, because I'm going to be watching videos to react to, uh, I'm going to do it on YouTube. So, <laughs> um, 
Although, I don't know. I, I might do it on Twitch, too, because of, you know, copyright, YouTube copyright, you know? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. <laughs> I'll figure it out, though, and uh, it'll get posted uh, the moment I have it all figured out. So, until next time, uh, hope you had a, a cozy time hanging out, uh, checking out this, uh, this, little, this cool little indie project. And I'll see you on the next one. Watch this yours chat. Take care.